We have two speakers. Kofi Annan uh, joined the United Nations in 1962 and worked his way through the United Nations to become the first, as it were, homegrown Secretary General of the UN in 1997. And he served until 2006, and that's when I got to know him, when I was working in New York at Rockefeller, and we did a number of things together over that period. He was noted for his uh, work on the Peace Building Commission, on the Human Rights Council. He played a major role in creating the Global Fund for AIDS, uh, tuberculosis, and malaria. Great advocate for human rights, for the rule of law, and for the Millennium Development Goals. He also brought the UN much closer into contact with the private sector and with civil society. And as you know, he was awarded with the UN the Nobel Prize in 2001. Bob Geldof started his musical career with the Boomtown Rats, and uh, <laughs> this is why we're having this meeting on Tuesday rather than Monday. In 1984, he saw those first dreadful television pictures from Ethiopia, and that really energized him to see what could be done. And he created uh, the song, Do They Know It's Christmas, which produced millions of pounds for the Ethiopians. He then followed that with the creation of Live Aid. He challenged Margaret Thatcher to do more about famine relief. And then in recent years, which is where I've got to know him, he has been very much involved with uh, uh, DFID and with the Prime Minister, Tony Blair. I'm the chief scientist at DFID, and that's how we got to know each other, uh, to forward the Commission for Africa, and in particular, the commitments of the Gene 8 at Glen Eagles. And he has done an enormous amount on advocating trade, on advocating forgiveness of debt, and, of course, issues around AIDS and he has received an honorary knighthood from the Queen. So we have two people from very different backgrounds, but both of them committed to trying to do something to help our brothers and sisters in Africa. Uh, Kofi's going to speak first for 15 minutes, then Bob's going to speak for 15 minutes, I'm going to ask some questions, and then you can ask some questions, and we'll finish by about 8.15. That's a kind of promise. <laughs>